Hi, this short video will give you the basics on how to create a lesson using TED-Ed, a free web-based learning tool. To get started, you need to create an account, which I've done here. You can use your email account or your Facebook account. But please know that if you do use your Facebook account, um, Facebook does not send you any information unless you give them permission to do so. Once you're logged in, you can go straight to create a lesson. I'm going to do that. Then you would search for a great video um, using a keyword or a YouTube URL. I'm going to put in a keyword. So I'm going to put in flipped or keywords, flipped classroom. search and here I have some videos that I could choose from to add to my lesson so I'm going to choose flipping the classroom explained and here I can preview the video there is some information here on what the video is all about then I would continue into creating my lesson once I get on the page to create my lesson I can make my lesson listed or unlisted. If I do make it listed, I give other educators within the TED-Ed community access to my video um, that they can use in their classrooms as well. I can also customize my video, which means I can create my own title and do my own questions. This is a great tool actually for flipping a classroom. So we're going to move on. I have my title of my video and I'm going to go to the Let's Begin section, which is a required section. And in this section, you want to give your students some clear instructions on what is expected um, as they engage in the lesson. So I'm going to put just a brief, please answer all questions. And then I'm going to move on to the Think section. And in the Think section, I can create questions. I have a chance to do up to 15. And the questions can be a combination of multiple choice or open answer. Or I can focus on just multiple choice or just open answer. I'm going to do an open answer question. So I'm going to put in, please identify. Two advantages of using the flip model. I'm going to save my answer and I have a chance to either remove that answer and create more questions. I move down to the dig deeper section. Um, and here, I can add a task that will help the student further illustrate their understanding of the lesson. I can also skip that section and move down to the Discuss section. And I can add a discussion. Um, once I've added discussion, I can move on to Finally. And I don't have to add a discussion. So I move on to Finally. And in this section, I can give the students a task. I'm going to put a task in. And here I'm going to put in, please post in Padlet. And of course, I would have put a link there for the students to continue the work. Two technology tools. that are suitable for the flip classroom. And then I 
would move on to preview my lesson. Now here in my preview, uh, because I did not put any points in uh, uh, one section there, it's not shown here. So this is what my lesson would look like. They get to watch. There is the think section where they have questions. Then discussion. Well, I didn't put anything for discussion, but I can always add something in there. And, and then finally, the task that they have to do. I can edit what I put in. And if I'm satisfied, I can publish it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish. Once I've published, I get a link that I share with the students and they can go in and get started with the lesson. One of the additional benefits of using the TED-Ed lesson is you can track how engaged the students are in the learning. And uh, you can give them feedback on their response that they have posted um, in, on the questions within the lesson itself. Thank you.